but we just got some new artwork from C5. Just gonna grab them. C5 asks, can it rotate the color? Is that easier to animate, or is that still an animation? Uh, to rotate the color? Um, no, it would, it would be a bit of extra code to do that. Um, I mean, we could do it. Um, or it could flash from its current color to transparent, just so it looks like it's blinking. Oh, like when we make when we make the lines? Yeah, we can totally do that. Yeah, and we can do that after you include this new artwork. Yeah. Which looks awesome! Looks really, really cool. Really cool. I was like, why will it let me copy that file into there? Because it's still uh, it's still CGD underscore, but there was a typo and it's CDG underscore. Oh. That's why it let me in there. Oh, gotcha. So we have to actually write some code for the um, for the bomb. Um, but we will do that next, I think. Um, okay. We'll, we'll make it so that we can actually see the bomb. Cool, cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this. <laughs> I love when you guys submit artwork. Like, it really personalizes the game. So please, please keep it up. It's so easy to make. You can just grab something from online put it in, you know, 25 by 25 pixels for a block and then send it to us. It's great. It's not, not so bad. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So let me add those and we'll throw it into the game real quick. Can I show you doing this or no? Yeah, yeah, you can switch back to my screen. Sweet. Switching back to Carrie's screen so you can see how he's adding the, um, the artwork in. Yeah. So all I do is I add, I make sure that it's named something unique. Like in this case, I made sure it was C5. And then uh, I add just C5 into this list of strings. And then when I run the game, if I hit tab, it'll switch right to it. So I'm going to have to write some extra code to do the bomb. But this looks this looks pretty sweet. That looks awesome. What do you guys think? You like it? <laughs> See, the bomb's still black, but uh, we'll tackle that next. That looks awesome. Oh, I like the white. The white actually shows the companion cube. Yeah. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. All right, so let's uh, let's add a bomb texture and. Load the bomb in. Yeah. So good. You guys yeah. are freaking awesome. So one thing we've got to do is set up a, a default um, image for the bomb for for the CGD. But all I'll do, all, all I'll do is copy um, our block asset, and we'll just use that again. Sounds good. It, if it tries to load a set like a texture set that doesn't have a um, a bomb in it, um, it'll try and load the default bomb. So we've got to give it a default bomb. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Tetris is so addicting. It is. It's so... 
Weird. I found when I was writing the code uh, over the last few weeks that um, that I, I'd, I'd be wanting to test that um, that some particular thing, whether it's like uh, the shapes what the shapes look right or something like that. And I'd run the game, and I'd be like, "Yeah, the shapes look right." And then, like, twenty minutes would go by, and I was like, "What was I doing?" Oh yeah, the shapes looked right. <laughs> <laughs> literally get lost in it. So we do need to add a default bomb. Uh, where's our CGD block? This guy will do. And now we have to make it so that it actually draws the bomb instead of drawing a normal block. Um, so where we draw our shape in place here. We want to just color this white. And we want to draw the bomb texture. All right, let's give it a try. Switch to C5s. And hopefully, we'll get a bomb. right in the middle and take out most of everything that's there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, now I'm going to get rid of everything. Ooh, destroy all the things. All right. So we have bombs. We have bombs. So let's see. Whoa. Someone put a lot of artwork into chat <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> so, okay. Let me check chat real quick. Okay, so you could program on. What do we got going on there? So, what else would you guys like to see done in Tetris? Um, some things that we could do. Actually, uh, I know C5 really, really, really wants to do some sort of obstacles, or um, yeah. maybe if we change the arena size, you know, because I think I was talking to him earlier, and he was like, what if it, instead of just going down, you had to, like, go down and go this way and then go down or something like really <laughs> crazy are are we able to do that um technically we can i mean we can we can fill the the pit when it starts out with whatever shapes we want that's kind of how you do it right um don't doesn't uh tetris actually have a game mode where it does that where it, it just fills a pit full of junk sometimes yeah yeah, I don't. I think it's called different things for different games, different versions of Tetris. But yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, let's give it a try. Um, where we reset it, let's actually. Right here. Okay. 
so this block of code right here is where we clear out the pit whenever we start a new game. So we can change this to, instead of clearing out the pit, fill it full of junk. Yeah. That sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> clearing out junk in this game is hard. I'm going to need to do this randomly, so I'll give us a random variable. If y is greater than, let's say, greater than 7. We want to give us some room to, to move. And then we'll do and. Random next. Um, let's say 3. Zero. So basically there's a one in three chance that every block will be filled with junk. This becomes our else case, and if this does happen, we want to do color dot gray, I suppose would be good. All right, let's give that a try. And it fills our pit full of random junk that we have to avoid. See, now this is where I want my bomb. Oh my goodness. That looks crazy. <laughs> That's like way hard. What do you guys think? Uh, bomb will clear this out nice and quick. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, that is evil. Evil, 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 <laughs> evil. <laughs> See, I don't want to cover everything up because when that bomb comes, it's going to be sweet. Ah, uh, Oh, and then it gave me the, the white. Come on, give me a bomb. Give me a bomb. Oh, man. Not gonna die. Not gonna die. Oh, man. Yes, a lot of yellow. Oh, oh there, there you there go. Oh, uh, and I've got to dump it right over here. Give me another bomb. Oh, Woo! there we go. Now, now it's easier. This bomb is OP. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. So OP. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's another one. I'm gonna stick this one right in this hole here. Oh, now, now I'm safe. <laughs> I'm going to take this one and stick it down the bottom there. Here we go. Oh, I'll get all the way across. Boom. Ha oh. ha. Yeah. Anyways. That just looks crazy. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing again. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> I know, I'm very rude. All right, so what do we want to do next? So, How are there, we, uh, well, how what's are we up? doing for time? How are we doing for time? We have about half an hour left. Oh, okay, cool. We um, have time to do some more stuff. Yeah, so I know... C5 mentioned a little bit earlier that um, we could have a random shape in the middle of the screen that you have to maneuver around. It couldn't be cleared except with a bomb. Yeah. Um, or there's also like a um, a moving block that just is a bigger block that just moves and you have to try to avoid it. A moving block? Wow. That, like that a moving be... obstacle. Yeah. That's just an idea. There's also, um... That could be tough, but we could probably make... Well, we probably couldn't do that in half an hour. Oh, uh, um, Winter Ion says, is there a way to adhere to the rules of gravity and instead of just having them stay after you clear a row, if you can have them fall to fill in the uh, gaps? Yeah, we could do that. 
That's one of my favorite versions of Tetris, actually. Like, I love when there's gravity put in and they can fall. So let's um, let's try and do that. Yeah, let's give that a try. So that's going to happen inside our, our guy right here. Um, let's see. So this is the section we'd have to change. Um, so oh i i'm just trying to remember how we did this um okay yeah i think we can do this Dyslexic today. Oh. <laughs> there we go. It's all good. All right. So we're going to want to go um, from left to right. We'll look at each column. And every every time, well, pull every block down until it hits another block. That sounds good. All right. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm playing my own little game of Tetris, and I just keep messing up. Oh my gosh, they really want a moving troll block. And they really want it to be a Pong paddle? A Pong paddle? <laughs> That's what they're saying in chat. I can't quite... Wow. A Pong paddle that destroys your Tetris block. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost like a mix of like Pong and Tetris and um, Brick Breaker. Is that what I'm thinking of? Like someone is building it while someone else is destroying it? Oh, that would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so the guy coding is Carrie. He works for EA. He's worked on a number of titles, so he's very uh very good at coding games and he has graciously agreed to work with me on this project, the show called Community Game Development. <laughs> Cuz I don't know anything about coding, but I like being able to teach coding uh, via live stream. <laughs> so, uh, um, they want me to ask you, why not Java? Why aren't we coding in Java? Um, I guess we could code in Java. Um, C Sharp is what I'm most familiar with. Um, uh, eventually, I, I, I think we might have uh, might have wanted to do something on on uh, Xbox. And if we wanted to do that, then we'd have to do it in C sharp. Uh, pretty much anything that we make in this in the show can be uh, ported across to Xbox with no trouble at all. Um, so that's that's really the reason why I went with C sharp and XNA. And if you are just joining us, this is episode three of Community Game Development. We are coding Tetris. Um, 
So if you guys need to download anything, here's really quickly the download slide so you guys can download uh, Studio C Sharp Express 2010. Download and install that first, then go get Microsoft XNA Game Studio 4.0, download and install that. Both of them are free, and then you can get, grab the source code for Tetris, not Snake, Tetris, <laughs> on comgamedev.com slash forum under episodes June 2013. So we just changed the art a little bit in the game. Um, we added a bomb, and now we are adding gravity so that when you get a line, um, if you clear a line, then the blocks on top won't just sit there like regular Tetris, they'll actually fall down. So, one of my favorite versions, I'm very, very excited for that. So I want to see that. A try. Yeah. So, we'll want to do squares to draw. Plus, plus. G.I. Jane, yes, we will be providing the finished code at the end. I think we do that for all of our shows. We put the source yeah. code before the show begins, and then at the very end, the code that we have at the end of the episode. Um, so you can see all the different artwork that people have submitted and all the different changes that we've made. So that will definitely be up on our forums as well after the show. And then Belfast is asking in chat, um, if you were coding it in 3D, would you use C++? Um, uh, I could. Uh, I could actually... Uh, I could do it in 3D and C sharp still. Um, I could just use XNA and, and C sharp and do it in 3D. Um, but 3D is a little more complicated. It's not something that really lends itself well to two hour, a two hour show. Um, maybe we'll we'll just about get there. Um, but yeah, you, you could do it in 3D and C sharp or you could use C++. There's, there's a whole lot of options you've got that you can do it with, yeah. Yeah, eventually we'd like to code in 3D or different engines or things like that, but because this is only episode 3, we have decided to stick with um, the same programs to use for coding for a while, just so people get used to it, so you can learn and work with us throughout these beginning episodes. But eventually we'd like to move on to bigger and different things. Don't mind me, I'm playing Tetris in the background. And I am already losing, so yay! <laughs> oh, why do I do stupid moves like that? All right, I think this might do it. Let me see. Belfast, I... don't sorry, really quickly. Don't apologize for asking questions. We love when you guys interact and ask questions. It means that you guys want to learn. So, by all means, ask away. We and Carrie, where where are we? It's just going to make us some lines. Boom. Gravity kicks in, and for some reason it didn't get rid of the um, the lines down the bottom there. I don't know huh. why it, it doesn't see those. Uh, I can look into that next. And what kind of shape is this? This Oh, this is our bomb. Yeah. It's our bomb in our default mode. Oh, that's funny. So if you have the T-shape like this, as soon as it hits down, it's gonna, it's gonna fall like the teapot's gonna fall. Oh, the your, the actual pieces fall apart if they don't. Yeah, that that shouldn't be happening unless you've made a line. So what it might be is that it it sees that we've got that gray line down the bottom, and for some reason it's not removing that. But it is. Uh, it is recognizing that it's a completed line. So that's a bit of an interesting bug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I see what's going on. All right. So yeah, the the the, um, the gravity from us making lines is kind of messing it up. Um, what we can do is I think maybe this will fix it. If we go over to shape game and where we actually do our test for completion. So check shape collision, lock shape, okay. Um, 
Where do we call this from? Okay, right here. This is probably where we can do this. do us at least once and if we make lines uh, we need to do it again I think this will fix it Let's see if that cleans it up. I could just be going deeper and deeper into that hole, but let's see. Does the gravity affect the dark gray blocks too? Uh, it should do when I make a line. So I should stop playing around and make lines. <laughs> you know what, we're gonna cut it off right here. This is where we're gonna make our line. Because that's something that chat was saying it probably shouldn't affect, is it should keep the, um... I guess that didn't fix it. Like, the cluster as is. Oh, you're right, it's not. Yeah. Man, Tetris is tough. Coding yeah. and playing. It's tough. <laughs> I'm sure it's something simple that I'm just not, not seeing right now. Oh, there, there it goes. The bomb, bomb solves everything. Yeah, I'm sure that's just something simple, that because uh, it, it's causing everything to get out of whack now. Um, but it's something simple, and I'm sure I could figure it out and post it on the forums. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna revert this. <laughs> Actually, Winter Ion makes a good point. You know what? This sounds like this sounds like a challenge. A challenge that would be uh, good to put <laughs> up against our viewers. Yeah, so you guys we can just. Try. Figure we can just add a code. Yeah, if you just want to add a comment in the in the code and say this is a bug we had during the show, try to figure yeah. out what's going on here, and see if uh, see if they can uh, can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> C five says bomb solves everything. Terrorist win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, outsourcing your bug fixes. Yes, that is totally what we're doing. Belfast, if you fix it and send it to us, we will totally display it on the show. <laughs> to like, go for it. We we love to have you guys send us your code and send us your artwork. Seriously. <laughs> there may or may not be a prize involved. That's true. If you submit anything to us during our show and in between, you're up for a chance to win a prize. So this is, Winter Island, you're, you're absolutely right. This is all about user content. So send us what you got. And this is what you got. Um, and in the meantime, we can do some other things with the code too. I don't know if you're ready to move yeah. on, Carrie. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we can do something else, yeah. I know we haven't done a next piece or a, or a hold piece, if you want to oh, try yeah. that. Yeah, those will be pretty easy. Uh, so next piece, we just need to make a variable for it real quick. Let's get a copy our uh, current shape variable. 